Okay, so after I tested the Hynix ADI based memory sticks quite thoroughly, so the ones I bought from my teammate Clemens some time ago, I decided to take my own chances and order some of these new and highly anticipated Hynix ADI based memory sticks myself directly from Tabao in China. So uh, at the time of ordering, I still couldn't find any of the more certain Hynix ADI here in Finland and Europe from the more notable vendors. But now, at the time of making this video, you can at least find the G-Skill Trident Z5 7600 CAS36 kit. But the price range is usually pretty high, so uh, usually the price range varies between like 500 and 650 euros for just one kit. So that's 2 times 16 gigabytes, so a 32 gigabyte kit. And honestly, when I tested these sticks myself, or the ones I already had, I think we are already hitting the IMC limitation of these new 13th gen CPUs. So I could reach DDR5 8000 and well, between 8000 and 8200, HEI Memtest stable with my sticks and 8600 plus in various tests like Geekbench 3 and ADA64 memory test. And my teammate Bizo Bizo from South Korea apparently managed to run uh, DDR5 8400 stable in Memtest, but no idea about the memory voltage, etc. So it's pretty hard to say that was his run actually like a daily stable run with like daily safe voltages, as it's possible he used very high voltage, but anyways. I don't think there's much headroom at the time of making this video above like DDR5-8000 with realistic voltages and so on. Well, of course, you need to go beyond the official voltage limitation of 1.435 volts. And I would assume that the uh, ones from notable vendors, like for example G-Skill Trident Z5, they should all have PMIC that can go past that level with every single motherboard brand. So. Tabao.com is pretty hard website to navigate on as it's all Chinese. The easiest way to navigate on Tabao, like if you are looking for different products, is to use Google Chrome as Chrome has the built-in translate feature already included in the web browser. You need to make you need to make account at Tabao.com as if you try to search for any items in the uh, search box, whatever, it always asks you to log in. So uh, just make an account and you may log in with your mobile phone afterwards if you forget your password and everything. You, they will just send you like a verification text message and you just, you just need to take the uh, code from the SMS and apply it on the website and you can usually browse just fine. If you search for Hynix ADI at tabao.com, you can find quite a few different listings and they all look pretty okay if you ask me. You shouldn't go for the very cheapest ones as they are or they have higher risk of being MDI, the older version of the Hynix DDR5IC. That's not the one we want, right? And some of the cheaper ones might have the locked PMIC, which might be a problem, especially if you run a gigabyte DDR5 motherboard. So these two were 1579 Chinese yuan per kit. So uh, around 215 euros for one kit, 107 euros per stick. The hard thing now is that most of those listings at Tabao.com, the original sellers, they will refuse to ship outside the mainland China. Or maybe they can ship to Taiwan, for example, but they will not ship anywhere in Europe, for example. They, you cannot buy directly at Tabao.com for the most part if you live in Europe. So you need to use a third party agent who's located in China who will forward your package directly to you. I tried to look for different options and everything, but after discussing about this whole thing with a few other guys I know, the easiest option ended up being Superbuy. And that's the whole point of this video, so I want to share my purchase experience through superbuy.com through super with all of you guys. So, once you find the original listing at tabao.com which you want to purchase, just copy the uh, URL link directly to that uh, listing and you need to paste it at superbuy.com and you can then 
uh, preview the whole uh, original listing in English at Superbuy. And it's then pretty easy to purchase the correct item you want. As for example with these ADI based DDR5 memory sticks, usually the original listing they have different options uh, through the uh, color selection. So you can choose whether you want like uh, TDR4 4800 MHz sticks or 5600 MHz sticks. All ADI sticks are the 5600 MHz standard. If you select a cheaper 4800 MHz one, you will get MDI pretty certainly. And you can select whether you want uh, 16 GB sticks or double sided 32 GB sticks. So either if you want either 32 GB kit or 64 GB kit. Now I don't know if there are uh, double-sided ADI based sticks. It could be pretty awesome as no one has tried dual-sided uh, ADI DDR5 yet, at least that I know of. So they could be better performing if they can reach pretty much the same uh, frequencies with similar timings etc. But anyways, so uh, the whole buying experience through SuperPi was pretty easy if you ask me. I placed the order for two kits on the last day of October. So the total cost for these two kits with uh, domestic shipping in China was 3,158 Chinese yuan or so. So that's like 430 euros for two kits. They managed to receive those kits in just one day in China. So the kits arrived at their warehouse in just one business day. So that's pretty fast if you ask me. Then it took me a few days to uh, double check everything as you need to uh, decide whether you want additional uh, like package protection for your items and then you need to select the uh, uh, shipping option. So uh, I really recommend you uh, select some uh, additional protection for your items as especially if you are buying a few of these kits the overall cost of the whole package will end up being quite high. So we are already talking about like 400 to 500 euro plus shipment. I went with the uh, bubble cushioning package material and it only cost like 5 yuan on top of the original item. And it was very well packed inside this uh, uh, bubble cushioning. So uh, I'm sure the sticks are just fine. So there shouldn't be any damage whatsoever. As they are just very general, like uh, item forwarders in China, they cannot test the sticks themselves as they don't have the skill and the ability to test those sticks themselves. So they cannot, for example, verify that are the sticks themselves that you are buying Hynix A die or M die. So you are taking a risk pretty much when you are buying these sticks directly from Tabao through these agents. Once you add the possible uh, extra protectioning for your package, you need to select the shipping method you wish to use. There are tons of different options. There are the cheaper ones that take like maybe up to one month to arrive in Europe. I went with the most uh, certain one, so I took the Hong Kong DHL shipment. The uh, initial cost was pretty okay, if you ask me. It was only like 178 yuan from uh, Hong Kong to Finland. But as I'm not located near the capital city of Finland, so Helsinki, and not close to the main airport, I had to pay an extra 324 uh, yuan for uh, the mainland de delivery here in Finland. As usually DHL packages, they arrive directly to your front door by a truck. And that costs some extra, definitely. So the whole like shipping cost end up being like 68 or 70 euros for the two kits. So it's actually quite high, but I just wanted to be like absolutely certain. And I'm currently doing an LN2 session at the moment. So uh, I really wanted to get these sticks pretty fast for this uh, session and for my upcoming overclocking event or stuff, whatever you want to call it. The delivery itself was pretty fast, if you ask me. So I got the sticks from the Superbuy warehouse to my place here in Finland, maybe within a week or so. So the whole like duration from placing the initial order to actually receiving the sticks was about two weeks. So I received the sticks on the 14th of November and I placed the order initially on the last day of October. So the whole cost for the uh, sticks and the shipment end up being like 500 euros in total. And then I had to pay the value added tax on top of everything. So the total cost for the memories themselves plus the shipping on top 
with value added tax and everything was around 620 uh, euros. So uh, it's still pretty much in line with just one G Skill Trident Z5 7600 megahertz kit. I think the price is still pretty okay per kit if you ask me. So that's like 310 euros per kit with shipping and value added tax and everything. So it's still cheaper than what I paid to my teammate for that one kit. But anyways, 310 euros is not bad for a very rock solid ADI DDR5 kit. The only real like minus part about the whole purchase is that you don't have, I'm pretty sure you don't have any warranty on these sticks at the moment. I'm not sure if uh, SK Hynix would accept them if I tried to return these sticks directly to SK Hynix if they had some issues. So that's definitely a question mark, but I would assume I don't have any warranty on these sticks. So you are definitely taking a risk, but I think if they work all right and if they uh, reach the same end result as the uh, other certain ADI kits from more notable vendors, the whole deal is still pretty all right. So that's pretty much it. So I will uh, try to link some of those uh, Hynix ADI sales in the description box of this video. And if you are interested to buy some of these ADI based memories from Tabao, still at the time of making this video, you can easily do it if you use superpie.com agent, trust me. So the whole purchase experience was definitely convenient and I will be definitely using their service more in the future. So I, I'm pretty sure about that. It's quite sad. I think superbuy.com, you cannot use the service if you want to buy some items from the secondhand market of tabao.com, so the idle fish. But at least for the new items, so directly from the bow, their service should work just fine. But yeah, so uh, let me know what you think. What do you think about this whole procedure? Will you be trying this yourself as well? Hynix ADI is definitely the best DDR5 option at the time of making this video, both for Z690 and Z790 based systems. Uh, but of course, if you are going for the Hynix ADI, you should have a two slot motherboard like Z690 or Z790 Dark Kimpin, the Z690 or Z790 Apex from Asus, Aqua C from Asrock, Tachyon from Gigabyte, whatever, or any of the mini ITX motherboards as they are always two slot motherboards. So uh, thank you for tuning in for this uh, buying experience video and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to join my Patreon Discord channel, I will have a link for it in the description box of this video as well. But yeah, thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.